Yeah, hi guys, Peter back for yet another video. This video is for Steve. Hi Steve out there. Um, album versus album, the Rolling Stones he wanted, because I've been doing a bit of Rolling Stones stuff lately. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put two al album versus album, two albums against each other. So what do we do? What do we do here is um, talk a little bit about each album and just decide what we prefer. So it's just a preference thing. What do you like? What album do you like better? So the two albums he requested are an album I did a review of from 1976, Black and Blue. I only have the vinyl of this, just the vinyl, which is great. An old copy, 1976. And I don't have CD, only CD of the other one. Um, 19, that's 1976, this is 1980, Emotional Rescue. So we'll talk a bit about both and we'll make a decision. So Black and Blue we'll talk about first. Um, there's the back of it. Um, I reviewed it and quite favorably, I gave it a quite favorable review, 8.5 out of 10. Um, yeah, uh, as I said, I'll just skim over it because I did a review of this. Uh, Hot Stuff, very great funky track to start things off. Really love that. Hand of Fate's a good Stones rocker, one of the best on the album, definitely for sure. Uh, Cherry O Baby's a reggae piece, not real big on that. Um, yeah, I think it's the weak point of the album, to tell you the truth, uh, Cherry O Baby. Um, Memory Motel, very, uh, Keith and Mick are both singing, very heartfelt, uh, bit up tempo ballady sort of song, very uh, melancholy. Very great song. One of my favourites, actually. My favourite on the album, actually. Then side two, you go to Hey Negrita. Very uh, rock-based, funky-type song. And one of my favourites, again, really love Hey Negrita. Always have. Really great song. Uh, melody, the jazzy piano thing. Um, I played it again today. It, it, it sounded better than I last thought. Yeah, so quite quite good, actually. Quite good song. Uh, Fool to Cry, the big hit, great song, and Crazy Mama, a great rocker to end things off. So really only Cherry O Baby, I guess. Uh, Melody is not one of the strong ones, but it's 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 better than I. Uh, I played it again, as I said, I played it again, and it sounded a lot, lot better to me. So I enjoyed it a bit more. So you never know with these things. So there you go. So pretty uh, strong album, very underrated, probably the most underrated stones album in my opinion but um there it is again this is an old um i think it i don't know if it's a rich i think it must be way back in here australian pressing uh there you go one of the best covers that's the same picture it's just some um folds out you when you open it up yeah and it's got a nice gate fold in there so that's black and blue for you. Now, Emotional Rescue. Now, I, I haven't heard this much recently, but I, I gave the CD a listen this morning, played the whole thing. And so with clear ears, I can um, make a good assessment of it. 10 tracks. The other album had eight tracks. Um, same lineup. Yep, same lineup. Jagger Richards, Wood, Wyman and Watts. 10 tracks, dance part one, very funky, dancey sort of funky, poppy sort of thing, um, which I like. I think it's one of the strongest on the I think it's, it's very infectious. Really love that one. Summer Romance, uh, typical Stones pop rock song. Not real fussed on it. It's okay. It does, does the job, but I... I'm not dying to hear it, you know, if you get what I'm saying. So, yeah, it's it's okay. Uh, send it to me. A um, bit different, a bit uh, upbeat, a bit poppy. Um, a little bit better than Summer Romance, but it's 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 quite decent. I, I'll give that a pass. I think it's a pretty pretty decent track. track. But with this album, I, I find there's more filler. I mean, the other album, I probably um, only... Um, what do you call it? Um, Cherry O Baby and Melody in a way, although I'm coming around as far as Melody goes. Um, Let Me Go is next. A good Stones rocker, one of the best on the album. Really like Let Me Go. It's pretty, 
It's a pretty catchy tune, one of the best on the album. Indian Girls, a ballady, Jagger vocal. Um, doesn't really do much for me. Doesn't really go anywhere as, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Where the Boys Goes, another rocker. Again, a little bit of filler track for me. For, for, for me. Down in the Hole's a bit bluesy. A little bit better, but still... Uh, um, I don't feel it's a great track. But I must say, it ends with three exceptional tracks. Uh, the album, I find, is very... Um, uh, what do you call it? Very strangely sequenced. It's got a lot of the, the two big singles at, at the end of the album, which you usually find they're in the front of the album. But Emotional Rescue, great song, great falsetto from Jagger, very catchy tune, good sax on it. Really love them. Always loved Emotional Rescue from when I first heard in 1980. She's So Cold, a good stones rock. I really love that as well. So I love the singles on this. The, the singles were great. And... Track 10, a uh, ballady, Keith, uh, good vocal from Keith, actually, and a very good song, actually, all about you. It's quite underrated. Really love a very heartfelt sort of uh, love uh, love song. And um, very good song. So uh, I think the three last songs are really great. It ends great. A couple of filler tracks, three or four filler tracks. I think half of this is filler, to tell you the truth, and half is really great. That's what I feel. I think... Dance, Dance Part 1, Let Me Go. Emotional Rescue, She's So Cold and All About You are the five best for me. The other, Summer Romance, Send It To Me, not bad. Indian Girl, mm. Where The Boys Go, mm. Down In The Hole. Mm. So, yeah, half of it's great, I think. But the other album has got more great songs and it holds together better for me. So I'm going to go for the winner, Black and Blue. I think it's a better album for me. If I'm giving um, if I'm giving um, this eight point five out of ten, like I did in my review, I'm going to give Emotional Rescue about a seven. I think it's very good a lot of the time, but a few track uh, songs drag it down a bit. Not a great album, but it's it's quite good, quite good. But this this for me is better. I find this um, I prefer listening to this than that album, but I, I still enjoy a lot of that the other album. So the winner for me, Steve, is Black and Blue. Everyone comment down below what album do you prefer? I think this is the most underrated Stones album. I'll stand by that. Really love Black and Blue. Really good album. Uh, comment down below, subscribe, share the video, all those things. I'll see you guys again for another video. It won't be too far away. Bye for now, guys. Bye.